Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, I have an Avon haul for you that I placed in campaign 22. We are in 23 now, which is the first of the Christmas or holiday campaigns, which is like a shocker. And I am going to go through that book with you, the brochure with you, um, or at least the Christmas portion of it. But I thought I would do the haul separately because it's kind of a lot, a lot for what I normally do. And I don't have a lip on, and my nails aren't done, but this is a whole other hot, I'm a hot mess these days. Thinking of doing an, a video explaining everything that's going on right now, just so you're updated on my life. Um, I had some lipstick on and I ate something and uh, wiped it off and so I'll, I'll show you what I had on and I'll put it back on again. But first I thought I would show you what I have on my face today that is Avon. Um, loving, loving, loving this um, Magic's Tint Tinted Moisturizer, the natural variety. So it's like a natural matte and light. I have really, really, really been liking this paired with, where is it, right here. The Magic's Blur Primer. These two have worked so well for me. Um, I really, really like them together. I have been enjoying it. I get all, like an all-day wear from it. This is not a full coverage by any means. It's tinted moisturizer, but I think it gives you way more coverage than your average tinted moisturizer. I feel like it is um, a decent coverage. You know, I would say like medium honestly and then uh with the magic's prime or magic's blur magic's blur really really nice combo and i'll link all the avon makeup that's on my face in the description section below um and then i have the magic's corrector in light um also and i have a cushion blush in orchid lily that's that bright pink one um but it shears out so nicely with a brush or a sponge or just your fingers so i really really like that and then um my powder today is not avon i have some avon powders but I've, i need to reorganize my life but also <laughs> my makeup stash so i don't have that uh i don't have avon powder on today and my highlighter today is not avon i have been on this kick i am loving this which i hope to find time to do another video on it I have this um, um, highlighter from Apocalyptic Beauty, which is an indie cosmetic brand that I found through the coloring community because the owner of it is also a coloring book artist. Um, and I ordered some makeup, of course. Actually, I placed several orders at this point and will still be ordering more. But um, she has this um, highlighter called Polished Bone. This is what the label looks like on it. And it is so gorgeous. It is just like this pearly, pearlescent, pearlescent, sheer white highlighter. And I use it as a highlighter. And then um, also sometimes I use it like as a under eyebrow highlight for my eyeshadow. I didn't today though, but... Um, but yeah, I love this. So I've been using this all the time. Um, I do have Avon eyeshadow primer, the VDL, and the the purple one that's, I think, supposed to be brightening. Um, my eyeliner is not Avon today, and then my mascara isn't either. It is, and this is another non-Avon product I'm going to plug really quick. I have been loving this Believe Beauty, or I don't know if it's just Believe, the Dollar General brand. This is the lengthening one. Um, I don't know if it's high definition skinny mascara it's in black and so this is five dollars at any dollar general that carries it's their line of makeup and look at the wand on that it's so nice and it's just a, a lengthening mascara i have it on my top lashes and i've really been enjoying this mascara for five bucks i have been loving it a lot i have didn't used to shop at dollar general that much but there is one at the end of my mom's road and when i'm out staying with my mom which is happening quite a bit now and i start to freak out and get stressed or anxious <laughs> i drive down to the dollar general and i hang out with them <laughs> kind of funny so um and then my eyeshadow that i have on today is also something that i'm going to show you guys in the haul so uh, let's get started so i can put some lipstick on so in campaign 22 they had the big lipstick event for 2.99 now these lipsticks were not um ones that are going to be on sale regularly in the avon brochure they're not going to be available they were a uh, uh a stock of lipstick that avon um 
sells in other markets that are outside the U.S. And I think they just maybe were clearancing them out or I don't know what exactly was happening or if they were testing us out to see what would work, like what was popular. But anyways, we got a bunch of lipsticks available at $2.99 and they sold out super fast. A lot of you guys took advantage and, and stocked up on them, grabbed them all um, the first day or two of the sale, which was wise. I didn't place my personal order until towards the end of the campaign. So pretty much everything was sold out, but I did manage to get a few. And one of the things I grabbed was this VDL little lip kit of the matte skinny lipsticks. It, look how pretty that is. It's such a pretty packaging. And then um, you slide the little thingy off and then it opens up kind of like, let me see, like an envelope and then the lipsticks were inside. So I had, and these are like a velvet um, lipstick. Um, I think they're, I don't know what they're called. And the printing on them is so tiny, even with glasses, I have a hard time. So I'm not really gonna worry too much about telling you guys what they are, <clears throat> excuse me, since they're not available anyways. But um, here's one of them. It's kind of like a warm, cor corally red, coral, corally red shade. And then the other one was like a, more of like a, I don't know which one did I have on before, earlier, now I can't tell, I thought I had this one on. Anyways, this is like a really light, powdery, I'm like blind as a bat, trying to use the kinder. They're very powdery and light feeling. Um, but they did wear off easy. Like when I started to eat, uh, my lunch came off on my napkin and my water and everything like that. So, but they feel really nice and comfortable and I'm glad I have them. Highly fragranced though. Not so crazy about the highly high fragrance, but again, there's no, I'm not going to swatch and stuff like that because there's no sense because not available right now anyways. Right. So then I got a couple more of them. Not not those particular ones, because that was only available in those uh, two shades there. But there was like a like a lip tinted lip balm, and this is kind of like a, a coral coral color. <laughs> I haven't even opened that one yet. And then these are um, Rouge Shine Vivid, and these are the VDL lipsticks. Or, no, FMG, FMG. And this one is in like a red shade. And I did wear one of these the other day. And they, I thought they were going to be like, just from the name, I thought they would be like really super like glossy, shiny. But they're not bad. Um, this one is a red, warm red. And then the other one is kind of, uh, let's see. The other one is, um, kind of like a nudie peach, like a deeper nudie peach color. So yeah, I mean, they're fun for $2.99. I'm satisfied. I, I don't care that they weren't like my first pick, you know, and stuff like that. Cause you know, just for fun. All right. And then I'll show you what I have on my eyes, I, eyes on my eyes today then. So you guys can, uh, know that. I finally was able to get the FMG Cashmere eyeshadow palette. Uh, I didn't get both of them. I just wound up getting the neutral one. Uh, let me see what it's called. I probably ended up having to put glasses on at some point. FMG Cashmere Essential Eyes. So look how big this is. This is a lot bigger than I thought because I saw these in the brochure, the nine pan palettes, right? And I thought they were like comparable to the Huda nine pan palettes that I have. This is twice the size. So oh, here's a lot. And this is the Essential Eyes. So the Essential Eyes is the nude shades. As soon as I opened this up, I got really excited because I've been like really, really craving uh, cool toned eyeshadows lately. Um, I have so many warm shadows and when I saw this, I'm gonna take the little plastic out. There is, first of all, there's like a giant mirror in it, but look at all the beautiful, cool 
shades. <gasps> I mean, seriously, you guys, look at all them. And the pans are whoppers. Like the pan size is whoppers. So I've used this a few for a few days and I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm thrilled to death with this palette. I never thought I'd be so excited about a neutral palette in my life, but I absolutely love it. So today I only have on two shades. I have on this deeper one here. And then I have on the one next to it. So just these two. That's it. That's all I've got on today. And absolutely, absolutely love them. So uh, I'll swatch the ones I have on. But there's, it's so nice. Can you see right there? It's kind of light. That like light. Uh... And then the um, the deeper one. is right there. So I'm going to do a video with this palette, but I, uh, I'm so happy to have it. Just like super, super happy to have it. And I'm pleased with the look I got from it. And just the pan size alone, these big giant squares totally, totally excited me. So the, um, the size of this is 18 grams, I believe 18 grams net weight. And the Huda is, uh, less than that. I think, I think, I'm not sure. But anyways, I just love the way it's laid out. You know, I love the big pans and I love it's the packaging is really, really nice. This mirror in there is fantastic. Just really, really nice palette. So very excited. I'll probably get the other one, the one with the jewel tones in it also. Um, but right now I'm so stoked that I have this and it's got these gorgeous, gorgeous, cool tones. I love it. Super, super, super excited about that. Okay, um, for my personal Avon order, I will show you some things that we already have that are available. I was running, beginning to run low, which in my opinion is I'm down to two tubes backup of my favorite toothpaste. <laughs> and I'm always scared that they're going to discontinue. So I got three more of these. Um, I got three more. They all look the same though of the Royal Black Bee um, Australian Honey Toothpaste. I have mentioned this before, um, but if you're new to my channel, in the brochure they describe this as a healing toothpaste. Now they don't say anything specific, it just says it's a healing toothpaste. And I have to tell you that I started using it and within, within I would say four months, of consistent use of this. I have extreme sensitivity on the le left upper side of my teeth. Um, uh, from the front to the back on the, just the upper left side and after consistent use with this I have no more sensitivity it's amazing that's my experience Avon doesn't make that claim but I make that claim for myself awesome awesome toothpaste I never want to be without it hence why I am like making sure that I am stocked up all the time because the tube I'm on now is almost empty and I had two left in my stash so now I have five yeah, I don't ever want to be without that toothpaste. It is awesome, awesome. And then the other thing, uh, let's see. Also, I got Campaign 20, well, let me do this. Then I was also starting to run low on my Rice Water Bright Foaming Cleanser from our Face Shop line. Picked up another one of these. This is $11, and it is a fantastic cleanser. I have two of them, one in the sink that I wash my face with at night and one in the shower um, to use you know, in the morning when I shower and I picked up another one cause I never want to run out. So I grabbed another one of these. Love that cleanser. Um, definite. It's obviously a repurchase. Um, and then in campaign 22, we introduced these, um, Isanox LX new clinical boosters. These were these little booster serums. Um, and the deal was on those that if you bought one, you got a, a second one for free of the moisture variety, moisture lock variety. So I went ahead and I got the microbiome balance. It's 2.3% uh, blend of pro, pre, pro and postbiotics pre, pro, and postbiotics, and it says this highly concentrated booster helps balance the skin's microbiome, the protective layer of microflora that lives on the skin, microflora living on our skin. The lightweight, non-sticky formula is absorbed quickly, delivering prebiotics, probiotic extracts, and postbiotics, which help support the good bacteria, 
It respects the microbiome by balancing the skin's pH for a healthier, smoother, more radiant look. And it talked about how it reduces redness and makes you feel more radiant. So I really got this one for the radiant. Um, let me pry it open and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'm excited to try it though. I guess it's a very lightweight um, serum and you can use it on its own or you can mix it in with a moisturizer. I'll probably use it on its own um, after cleansing but before my uh, before my moisture routine. It's all packaged up really well here. So, oh I see. Okay, cool. So look at how it's packaged, you guys. I don't know if you can see now. The dropper is separate from the product so that it doesn't go until you... So here's the dropper. Put that back. And then here is the product. And it's just a little bottle here. So I'm not going to open that yet because I probably... I don't want to mix it until I get ready to go. Um, but I'll probably do that tonight. Uh... Because I've actually been back at my skincare routine again. So hopefully tonight I'll start on that. And then when you ordered one of those, you received the uh, Isinox LX, uh, LX New Clinical Booster in the Moisture Lock, which contains 4.5% of NMF, FNH, and 1% hyaluronic acid. So that one is in the blue, and it says this highly concentrated booster contains NM NMF, which is natural moisturizing factors, uh, similar to components naturally present in the skin, such as hyaluronic acid, which boosts hydration. A blend of ceramides helps prevent moisture loss. This lightweight, non-sticky formula is absorbed quickly, replenishing vital moisture necessary for strengthening the skin barrier, and it leaves the complexion feeling soft and supple. So, very excited to try that one also. So, I'll, I'm sure that one is exactly look packaged the same. All right, then these pa prize uh, these prizes these um. Items are currently available, um, but I didn't order them for myself, actually. I earned them in an incentive that Avon had over campaign 21 and 22. So thanks to you guys shopping with me, I received um, this prize. Um, and I am going to, some of it's going in the giveaway. So I've been talking about giveaways, like, since the summer. Um, but uh, I can tell you guys that I am planning to do giveaways um I actually achieved another incentive, so I'm going to get another set probably of this stuff, and then I will start putting my giveaways together. They're going to be different types of giveaways. I'm going to do giveaway for people to order on the e-store. I'm going to do giveaway for people that watch the videos because I don't want to require everybody to have to order to get a chance to win a prize, you know. Um, so there will be information on that forthcoming. Uh, I don't have a date, though, exactly of when. So anyways... Um, the incentive was if you sold um, $1,000 between campaign 21 and 22, you would achieve this incentive, and I did do that. Um, and so thank you so much for all of you guys for shopping with me. And I chose this as a one of my prizes. Well, there was um, bundles that we could pick from, and I chose this um, green bundle, and it contained the Green Goddess Facial Oil, the 100 milligram CBD plant-based calming and soothing. I have used this. This is the full size. I have used a bottle of the Green Goddess before. It's very nice. I liked it a lot. I love the facial oil. Um, then it, they also had a CBD uh, Veilment 10 100 milligram cooling body roll-on gel. So it's not deodorant. It's for uh, soothing your skin um, and hydration, even though it's packaged like our deodorants. It's not. Um, this is the CBD 100 milligram concentrated nourishing and soothing body cream. Now I had one of these and I actually gave it away to my neighbor who was um, going through some cancer treatments at the time and having some issues with his skin. So I gave it to him and I ordered myself another one and when I ordered another one Avon sent me this instead which is a different one um so I have this one already I might keep this one for myself because I did really really enjoy that however in the bundle 
there was another one of these. So this will go in the giveaway since I already have one open. And the only difference, this one is the um, Nourishing Body Cream. The only difference in these really, I think, is the application and the scent is a little bit different. So, but I might keep this one, but this one will go in the, in the giveaway. And then they sent um, the... Jasmine scented CBD 10 milligram multi balm stick. This is like it looks like a lip balm, but actually it's like um, for any little spots of skin irritation or dry skin that you may have, you can just apply this to it like a lip balm. And then the other one is uh, the same thing, just in a different scent. So we have two of these. Uh, jazz, one's jasmine and one's geranium. They're not lip balms, even though they're packaged like lip balms. So, so yeah, I thought that was kind of exciting that I can have these to give away these premium products, especially the Green Goddess Facial Oil, because I think that runs like $34 or something. So that's really cool. And then this product, I'm almost down to the end now, guys. <laughs> this product debuts in campaign 23. So when I, um, do I think it debuts in 23 so when we go through the 23 brochure you will be able to check it out yourself but I got the far away intense eau de parfum so um we had the uh, intense of the haiku um and the rare pearls and this one they did for far away and I've been really excited about this one because I like the far away um, I used to use it like all the time and then I kind of got away from it um, and I really liked the far away gold that we had I'm gonna try to open it and um, I bought the far away glamour which is not available with uh, our Avon it's a, I had to buy it from uh, South American Avon on eBay but um yeah so when I knew that they were coming out with the far away intense line and there's three different fragrances. I got really excited. Um, so I did order, like I said, this. And then the deal is when you order the uh, Far Away Perfume, you get an up freebie bonus. So I'll show you that in just a minute. So look at the pretty packaging. Isn't that gorgeous? I have similar um, pictures like this in some of my coloring books. And I'm definitely going to use that as an inspiration. So let me tell you what the notes I show off my glasses on what the notes are on this. Um, transport yourself to the exotic and beyond with Faraway Intense. A potent blend of freesia, jabs, jasmine absolute, and enticing amber brings out your inner wanderlust. The journey begins now. So I am not crazy about jasmine. It is not one of my favorite scents. However, I really, really like Far Away. I don't know if it's like the combination of them all, but I thought we would try this together. So I like you saw me take the plastic off. Haven't even opened it yet. Here is the bottle with the pink tassel. <sighs> it smells so good. <laughs> it smells so good. So I can't hold it up and spray it. So I'm actually going to come down and spray it down here. Got to give it a few pumps. So good. Oh, so good so good it definitely is potent but it doesn't smell that much different than the normal far away the original far away perhaps a little bit more saturated but not anything oh it's so good so good one of the reasons why Far Away has always been one of my favorites, too, from Avon, is it lasts all day. So that's really nice. But, oh, so pleased with this, you guys. I love it. I love it. And the packaging is so pretty. I mean, seriously. So then when you place an order for the Far Away, they sent me, and it, it's a special in the brochure. Also, you get the travel size of the Far Away Beyond Intense. So that's what this is, and it comes in this packaging here. So pretty. And what does this say? Um, travel to an exotic paradise. Discover the colorful and mysterious Orient. Escape. I always say escape. I know it's escape, but I say escape. To the destination of your dreams. Far away beyond intense pays homage to the nomadic spirit with a potent blend of alluring jasmine, fresh orange blossom, and warm tonka bean. Fulfill your inner wanderlust. 
So I have opened this and I've been wearing it actually. I've worn it several days now and I really, really like this. Also, um, you can see it's down a little bit from the top because I have been wearing it. Really, really nice. I pick up the orange blossom a lot in it and the vanilla on the dry down is just, well, the tonka bean, vanilla tonka, you know, it, it's, it's beautiful and it lasts all day. I can tell you that on me all day long. Really, really nice. So there is another one I think I'm going to pick up. I think it's the infinity. Uh, yeah, this is the far away band. I think the other one's the infinity. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, I'm going to pick that one up, too, so I have all three of them. But, oh, so good. And this is just a, a regular one. So so that is my haul from campaign. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. I forgot something. I actually also, in campaign 23, because it is the Christmas campaign, guess what debuts? The glitter slippers. <laughs> So I got myself two pairs of them, you guys, because I always end up needing another pair like halfway through the year because they get so nasty. So I got two pairs. This year's come in red, gold, and silver. And I have silver ones. Hold on. I'll actually show you. <laughs> I actually, my, <laughs> this is how worn out my ones are. This is the one that Dutch chewed and he took it and tried to bury it under the magnolia <laughs> under the magnolia tree and I got it out and had to wash it but it is pretty fried so um yeah these were the silver ones from last year um so I am happy to replace with new fresh glistening red slippers so that is my haul um I hope you guys enjoyed it so I will link everything in the description section below um so you can check that stuff out if you are inclined and then campaign 23 is on, underway and I am going to go through the holiday items with you guys in the next video and um yeah so exciting that the holiday brochures have rolled out I just can't fathom it it seems so strange to me kind of like last year it just I don't know it just seems strange to me so that it's underway that quickly but yeah so okay all right you guys thank you so much for watching I hope you found it helpful and enjoyable and I will see you in the next video Thank <laughs> you.